Hello, welcome back to Custom Gamer, my name is Daz and today we're going to be having a look at a new map by James Partridge aka Azel. If you remember a few months ago we had a look at uh, his map called Daylight, which I enjoyed quite a lot. And uh, this is a preview map for a new kind of map pack, map pack stroke episode he's working on. So uh, just keep in mind that I guess beta is beta. I don't know how complete this map is as uh, I haven't looked at it yet. So this is going to be as much as I'm just going to show you guys what the map is but I'm also going to be producing a lot of feedback hopefully for uh, for James as well. So hopefully it should be quite informative. So let's get going. Up. <laughs> Guess we're going this way. Looks like we can get into the mines through here. If we could just get this gate open. Okay. I think the combat starts a bit too quickly. It would have been nice to uh, explore a little bit first. I can't see this guy through the trees. <laughs> Got a gravity gun? Yeah. Oh, he's on the roof. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I mean, um, I was kind of wondering what. I was still trying to work out what weapons I had, what if I had a gravity gun, etc., etc. Can we get through there? Uh oh. <laughs> this bit's a bit hard to navigate around. I'm trying to work out whether there's anything there, but I guess there isn't. Oh, he's on the roof, okay. I'm just a bit so hard to shoot. Hello. <laughs> oh, I think my grenade bounced off the uh, skybox brush there. I'm going to raise it slightly. Yeah, so I think perhaps uh, have the tunnel exit a bit further back and have a section where you have to travel up to this area kind of get the let the player uh, have a bit of freedom before they start the combat is a texture error, just guessing. <laughs> That's easy enough to fix. Alright, how much ammo have we got now? These guys aren't dropping their weapons. This is a bit thin here, it looks a bit kind of strange. Looks like there's something behind it, I can't quite see from here. Oh, yeah, I think you've got some kind of rendering issue here. You can see the tunnel from the start. I 
I think in general it's it's just quite easy to see where the, the level geometry stops and the skybox starts, if you take my meaning. Like you can see there's just kind of a box around here. Perhaps have some more displacements behind these which kind of go up go up a bit more. But in general it's, it does look a hell of a lot better than the daylight already, so well done. Does does it open the door? If it does open the uh, gate down there, perhaps have like a cable or something going down to it, which you can fall, follow back. I'll wait here. Okay. Oh, or is it for this lift? That would make more sense, wouldn't it? <laughs> do not want. Uh, shame about this particle effect, there's not really much you can do though, you can't, oh god I've been snagged. <laughs> yeah, there's not really much you can do about the particle effect I guess, unless you just make this shaft a lot deeper. But it does look kind of strange going into the water like this. I think the, f the fog here looks a bit needs some tweaking. I think I think it if you start the fog fade a lot sooner, I think it would look a lot better because it looks kind of unnatural right now. You can see as I move around, it's kind of looks very gamey. I think sometimes even having like a, a negative start value on the fog can look really cool. And it would kind of show up the geometry a bit more here. The kind of like Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2 do. Hmm. Exploding barrels. Ah, and that's the gate. Okay. That's cool. I guess we get our car now. That worked. Let's go. Oi. <laughs> yeah, I think um, with the fog change, you'd you'd see obstacles sooner because the fog will kind of uh, bring them up. You see what I mean? I'm probably not explaining it very well, but I'm sure you get the idea. Die. <laughs> There's another one. Down there. 
Oh, I think it's clipped. <laughs> Alright. No problems with Alex yet. So I see a lot of custom maps that use Alex and other NPCs. There's usually problems there, but nothing so far, so great. Okay, I thought that was going to blow up. Just drive around in circles a bit, hope to crush everything. should have a, a slightly more effective weapon by now. Or maybe I'm just meant to use a gravity gun more. Guess we're not taking the car through here. I like how she's commenting on what I'm doing. sequence goes on a bit too long. I'm assuming it's going to stop. Maybe it just carries on dropping stuff. Is it like a timing puzzle? Leg it. I guess it is. So I mean, if I just wait here, is this whole shaft just going to fill up with debris? It is. <laughs> yeah, I mean, some people might might wait for it to stop and then realise it's, it's been too late and not going to be able to get across now. That's the only reason I wonder. Excellent. jump over this railing. Maybe there's a reason for that, but it just feels like the clipping's a bit excessive right now. But also we'll see. There's probably a reason for it, I guess. Ah, uh huh. I thought we'd have to put this on the uh, Whoa. <laughs> okay, so uh, perhaps some tweaks needed here. 
looks like I thought this wouldn't move until I dropped the weight on the uh, on the pulley system there. I don't know if that was the intent or not, but yeah. Oh yeah. Come on then, where are you? I would have just driven off, driven off without her actually. It's a good job she uh, shouted. Jump needs to be telegraphed a lot better, but you need to use the turbo for it. I had no idea I was going to die there. Secret hunting. Hmm. I would put something down here for inquisitive players to find. Well, what was that? It's like I could see the sun. Oh, that's kind of weird. I've never seen anything like that before. seeing a problem. Yep. Okay, I'll just uh no clip out of this I think. Yeah right. Let's go. Yeah, these uh, vehicle jumps need to be telegraphed much better. I mean, I know there's a jump here, but I don't know how long it's going to be, or whether I have to turbo, or... Let's just have a look here. In fact, what, what I probably would suggest is, um, have instead of this being a breakable barrier, have it be a door that the player has to activate, and then have... Uh, the activating lever or button or whatever be inside this area so they can see how long the jump is while they're doing that puzzle so that they know when they go back to the car how long it's going to be let's go I think the fog's disappeared from this tunnel as well, that would be cool to have back as well. <laughs> yeah, this needs some work. I've never actually used any of the uh, vehicles in episode 2, so I'm not quite sure how you set them up. We'll go to jump distances or whatnot. It just looks like this place needs a lot more clipping to make sure the car can make it. Uh -oh. 
problem. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um. Okay, can we reset it by going down here? Okay. I could have found another problem here. <laughs> save games yeah so I think this thing um, probably best if you just disable collision on this entire mesh here and just uh, add just a large overriding clip brush that's kind of very uh, sympathetic to the player with regards to landing on it correctly Uh, I'm not sure what I can do here to get my car back. <laughs> How far was it we had left to go? Oh, okay. Looks like we have to leave it here anyway. I shall carry on then. I wonder if you could just let the player crash their car here then, if, it, if this is the place they have to come to to dump it anyway. I wonder if it's necessary to make them restart that jump. Just to drive another 30 odd foot. <laughs> Sound good. Yes, thank you, Alex. Acid in my face. Yeah. It's a shame the source engine can't do properly lit particles because this kind of does stand out a bit as being way too bright. So there's not really much you can do about that, I guess. Apart from making completely new particles, which are... Well, I've never used the particle editor, so I don't know how hard it is. Mm. Alright, guess we're going this way. Okay. So that was the deep down preview. Again, this is more of a feedback video to the author, um, but um, you can check out the link there and download it yourself and have a go. Uh, I hope it was in interesting to you guys. And uh, I will see you next time. <laughs>